हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू भोलानाथ एकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव इन क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव स्टूडेंट्स व्हाट आर फेरस एंड नॉन फेरस ऑलाइज हाउ आर दे आर क्लासिफाइड इन दिस वीडियो स्टूडेंट्स ओनली वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट इज फेरस ऑलाइज एंड हाउ दे आर क्लासीफाइड इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी नॉन फेरस ऑलाइज एंड इट्स क्लासिफिकेशन सो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाफ पार्ट ऑफ द आंसर दैट इज वट इज फेरस ऑलाइज एंड हाउ इट इज क्लासीफाइड ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो ऑलाइज आर जनरली क्लासीफाइड ऑल द अलाइज which are present on the earth they are classified into two categories that is ferrous alloys and non ferrous alloys okay students ferrous alloys the alloy containing iron see students here the iron is very important the alloys containing iron as one of the main components with carbon any other third elements are known as ferrous alloys understanding me students so here students iron on the basis of iron they have given the name of ferrous alloys so here is friends example they have given that is steel steel is one of the very important alloys in ferrous alloys so students how they are classified students so it is classified into first category that is magnetic steels okay students so ferrous alloys is which containing carbon and any other elements are that we are going to see that is called as ferrous alloys an example here we have given what is steels so now students how the steels are classified it is also classified as magnetic steel so students what is magnetic steel that these are steels have strong magnetic properties the word magnetic steel means it has got these alloys having what strong strong magnetic properties high cobalt steel have such properties and therefore they are used in making permanent magnets it's for here magneto loud speaker that is example alnico that is alnico in this uh, type of steel students aluminum is present 20% nickel 20% and 10% cobalt and 50% steel is highly magnetic it is used for making small powerful magnet magnet required for speaker in radio tv sets so these are alnico type of steels we are using radio and tv steel okay students now second type of steel that is called as stainless steel second type is stainless steel these are alloy of steel containing is essentially chromium together with small quantities of other elements such as nickel molybdenum which resist corrosion corrosion by atmospheric chemicals hence are also known as what corrosion resistance steel so this is stainless steel that means corrosion resistance steels okay students corrosion resistance steel is also called as what stainless steel now stainless steels have great strength toughness non magnetic and exceptionally good resistance to heat corrosion therefore it does not tarnish hence it is called as stainless why the word is stainless students because of all these properties we call as stainless steel students composition students when you are talking about here chromium is 18% nickel 8% and remaining mild steel the stainless steels are also classified into these categories students stainless steel steel that is called as austenic stainless steel in it contains 50 to 20% chromium and 7 to 10 nickel with 0.15% carbon such steels are used in making household that is tensiles sink dental and surgical instruments now second stainless steel is also classified in the category second category that is called as martensitic steel in this students when you see the composition it contains 10 to 14% chromium with no other major alloy these steels are magnetic tough and can be worked into cold state in cold steel students this type of steels are used such steels are used in making blades scissors and cutlery so this is also very important type of steel students now that steel is further classified in ferritic stainless steel in ferritic steel it contains chromium to two ranges either 14 to 80% chromium and 20 to 30% chromium these steels are used in making chemical equipment automobiles parts understanding students now students third type of steel that we are going to see that is called as shock resistance steel shock resistance steels these steels which resist shock and can serve as a fatigue stainless stressless fatigue stresses are called shock resistance steels so what is shock resistance steel so these steels which resist shock okay students and stresses are called as shock resist resistant steels now students it is also further classified into chromium vanadium steel depending upon the element which ele which metal is present it is also shock resistant steel is also classified into further first one is chromium vanadium steel it contains carbon that is 0.25% carbon 0.25% carbon chromium 0.5% nickel 3% manganese 0.25% and remaining steels and remaining weight should be the steel 
so that is why students it is called as chromium vanadium here the chromium vanadium steels composition i have given students where it is used students it is mostly used in springs see this is the diagram of a spring so when you see the spring that means it is chromium vanadium steel understanding students now second type that is nickel chromium st steels second type of shock resistance steel is nickel chromium steels yes students carbon is 0.25% chromium 5.5% nickel 3% that is why it is called as nickel chromium steel and magnesium is 0.25% and remaining part will be the steels it is used for making parts such as axles containing rod of different machines and gun barrier okay students so this is all about the nickel chromium steels now students four type of steels that is we call as high speed steels high speed steel these steels are very hard even at high temperature they are resistance to wear distortion and deformation by great heat produced by frictions understand it means that is why it is called as high speed steels at high temperature this is remain as it is now students it is also further classified into this category students first category that is 1841 high speed steel 1841 high speed steel it contains 80% tungsten that is w84% chromium 1% vanadium that is why it is called as 1841 1841 high speed steel and 0.75% carbon used for making tools of the latches drills and planers okay students now second type of high speed steel is cobalt high speed steels cobalt why it is called as cobalt high speed steel because it contains 0.5% cobalt understanding students this same property it has vanadium high speed here students why it is called as vanadium high because here 1% vanadium and 7% carbon and here it is used in cases molybdenum high speed steel students that is containing 6% molybdenum 6% tungsten 4% chromium and 2% vanadium it is used in high speed tools okay students that is why it is called as molybdenum high speed because molybdenum is present 6% so these are the classification of high speed steel students for these specific qualities now other further students these ferrous alloys is also classified into depending upon certain elements like carbon manganese nickel and tungsten and chromium so we are going to classify the uh, non ferrous alloys in this category also so alloys non ferrous alloys are classified in carbon steel okay students so carbon steel here students it is principal carbon it is the principal constituent of steel that is ferrous where the carbon is what main component so that is why it is called as carbon steel hardness of steel hardness of steel increases with carbon content but ductility and welderability welderability ductility and welderability decreases with increase in carbon content if you increase the carbon content ductile property and welderability property will decrease carbon steel is used for making girdles armor plates knives razors watch springs swords tools etc it is useful in preparation of babe magnet and magnetic needles so these are the uses of the carbon steel students now here the main component is what carbon depending upon the carbon element students it has different different property now students we are having next type of steel that is manganese steel so carbon steel we have seen now students that next is manganese steel due to the presence of manganese the tensile strength of the steel increased because of the manganese the tensile strength here the properties tensile properties increasing because of the manganese and with certain limit roughness is also increases improved manganese steel containing here students 10 to 14% manganese the manganese out of 100 students 10 to 14% range is given this much amount of manganese you have to take has extraordinary resistance extraordinary to the wear it is used for jaws of rock crashing crashing so this is very important students if you want to prepare the jaws of rock crashing you have to use manganese steel yes students in machinery part rail of sharp curves steels helmet extra are prepared by this manganese steel now second students we are going to see that is nickel steel why it is called a nickel steel students nickel steel containing 2.5 to 5% nickel is tough hard and rustless and elastic because of the nickel students this properties is enhancing so tough hard and rustless and elastic used for cable armor plates where it is used students cable automobile parts heavy guns nickel steel containing nickel steel contain 36% nickel students is used for if you are using 30% nickel students making pendulum rod so pendulum rod in pendulum rod students there is a 36% nickel wheels of watches dimensionless standard instrument so all are containing 36% nickel nickel is still containing 78% if there is a 78% nickel and 22% iron and little amount of carbon and sulfur used in radio work telephone equipment it has magnetic property okay students now students 
steel is second type of we are going to that is called as tungsten steel the addition of tungsten to steel has the effect of increasing hardness toughness tensile strength and elasticity so if you increase the amount of percentage of tungsten so these properties are enhancing it is used for cutting tools if these properties steels will have so you can use what cutting tools in the manufacture of ignition part of the internal combustion of engine engine wall of aeroplane automobiles parts armor plates and projectiles so this is very important to use tungsten steel now second type which means that we are going to see chromium steel this is the chromium steel so here addition of chromium to the steel makes hard tough steel containing 3% chromium is very hard very very hard so chromium and iron chromium and iron form alloys which gives complete resistance to atmospheric corrosion you want to prepare prevent atmospheric corrosion so you have to use chromium steel chromium steels use for crusher shaffers files and cutting tools and ball bearings so ball bearing is also made up of this chromium steels so this is the one part of the answer what is ferrous alloys and how it is classified now in the coming video students we are going to see non ferrous alloys and and its classification so this in next video students we are going to see what is non ferrous alloy and how they are classified so these are the very important for the examination point of view if you like my video share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you